Okay, what's up everybody? This is Joseph Boone. Welcome to the Phantom Science Channel. And we're here with more with Mass Effect. In last stream and last episode, well, we made it here and we saw a lot of aliens and humans and some weird stuff and we saw a lot of stuff. But we actually were learning more of Mass Effect lore and stuff and we learned more about the council and that. So we're. Going to the, I think we're gonna go to the council, you know, to continue with some plot. Last episode, we were just, you know, wandering around, stuff. So yeah, let's let's go. I think this leads to it. I don't know. Hope it do. Oh shoot, I should have saved. But you wanna know? The council isn't gonna ask me any questions. I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. This is awkward. <laughs> this is so awkward. Shoot. Is this a council room? Oh my god, wait. Is this a council room? If it is, I need to save. Oh, hello. I need to save. Oh, bro. Bro, oh my god. I mean. I have good elephant ear music. Alright. Oh. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Garrus. Um, nice to meet you, Garrus. <laughs> Commander yeah, Shepard, Garrus. Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You don't like Susa. What did you find? Who was that? Um, Come across you find? anything I should know about? Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything oh. solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Chef. Oh my god. Maybe bro. they'll listen to you. Oh god, bro. Okay, save again. <laughs> Okay, we're walking right into this. Shoot, alright. Uh... Okay, okay. Hello, how you doing? What? Can we walk around here? The map big? The map is big. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. I mean, the map is big, but I really do not want to just look around. I'm like, let's go straight to the council or something. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern. I'm so glad I'm, I'm blind to this game, really. Anyway. It's like, I'm glad. The investigation by this Citadel game is huge. All the thing no I know is, like, it's a mystery between humans and aliens. So and it's like, yo. I saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. Right, bro, he You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false Oh my god, me. bro. No, bro. Are you kidding me? And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. Cool, the race, the bro. Let the beacon uh, get destroyed. How did you get involved? That was you not me. Um How did you get involved? That's not you. It's me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, we're all we're all right. Um Bro, bro, I really did not want to be rude. Like, oh my god, bro. I mean, I guess he he was rude to us when we got here. We didn't. We were just in here being a soldier, my own business. Alright, so. 
Um, alright, so a straightforward or... Hold up, hold up. to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, hey, bro, come on. on to me. Play, I read play, the what? Play. report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Bro, what? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species hey, racist, needs bro. to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready oh my to join God. the council. No, no, isn't You're not even ready to, to join the spectators. Bro. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, counselor, and mine. Good. Quick protecting him, I find proof your argument. Best. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams? Uh, bro, to but now? again, we don't know How that's true. <laughs> bro, kind of bro, nothing happened from that mindset until I guess end game or something. Oh wild no. Imaginings and reckless speculation. It's yeah, really giving me for her animal fight. What's the point? No, you won't see the truth. Let's just say You've no. made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Man. This meeting is adjourned. Well, I guess we have to say no. You want to know? I guess we have to say no. Because basically, we don't got nothing. We don't got nothing, bro. We don't got nothing. This was a... It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you how do you know, sir? Like, how, Tell me right, about this you know? between like, you and Sarah. Right, I worked with them on a mission on? a long because time. Be, uh, like, they said this they happened bad. again, so... Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Okay, now what? Uh, the council won't help us. Now what? Like, what are we gonna do now? As a specter, he's virtually. The council, like, the council got a lot to going on. Or, like, to really? Him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I don't know. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. 
They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time. Ooh. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I don't like this. Captain Sir Bear, I'm on it. I you can't like just this. cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The ambassador's hey, right. He's our captain. I need to step aside. Oh my god, bro. I need All to right. take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. <laughs> Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Hey, Everly. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information broker. dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Um, what about you and You Saren? and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working oh. with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren oh. eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No so hesitation. So he just kills his target, but he many people died. He innocent that civilians accident. to end a war without a second thought. He's a monster. Okay, so let me do a little investigation. So, um... Tell me about... You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Ooh. Locking up suspects in custody, <laughs> bribery Damn. accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Why protect him? A abandon him. Why protect him? A abandon him? Why protect him? The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have oh. looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of challenges. <laughs> if the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. This dude, this is better thing. off without him. Yeah, I assume everybody's an ass. Bro! Damn! Okay, uh, the Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells okay. the highest bidder. Doesn't get I guess involved stupid. in Don't play Doesn't with him, shot. I guess. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. What's that? Okay, we can't play with that dude. Um... Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes Bar in bon. large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. <laughs> doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Alright. And... I want to know more about the specters. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. Oh. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, alright, so...
Scrutinizing. How are they chosen? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The council's uh, always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. They have to be like chosen. Them. They have to be worthy. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Okay, so I guess maybe they won't do it. Maybe because, like, they are... Since the Beaker mission, I guess, I guess, like, they were like, nah, never mind. We're not letting him in, because basically... <laughs> okay, so, um... What happens going when the Spectre goes rogue? Like Saren. It doesn't happen often. The counselors careful when they select their candidates. But when something Okay, goes okay. Rogue, maybe, yeah, maybe that's probably also the reason why Send another Spectre to bring the rogue like, agent down. It don't happen every single time, so we just can't let you know. Just... Assume he betrayed us, you know. What's their Are they organization? Like? There is no command structure. Each specter answers directly to the council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The council just turns a blind eye. Specters have a lot of power, Shepard. Is this they illegal? Sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The oh. latest alliance estimate puts Damn, them so it's not just those three, it's But the council many. couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. So the final like, option before it's just open war. Many people. The Damn, entire like. galaxy respects and fears them. If a specter shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, right, bro, that it's a dude probably street. stressed the free they out, to bro. And it's like, bro, unstable what? regions like the Skillian Verge I and the told Attican you Traverse. You're to do this, but when we you run tell me what, like, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter bro, of time like, until we get a seat. I bet you the have white gray hair on his head. Like, it should happen sooner rather than later, and I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the council? What's the big deal? If the council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleet yes, or political sir. allies to defy them. Once yes, we get a seat sir. on the council, we'll be able yes, to influence sir, like, those he, he's making gems, protect our own interests. Like... No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Yeah. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. So but I guess we're not just working. Us. So I guess we just don't got I like those two. Side. I guess we gotta probably work with aliens and stuff. Like it's maybe that dude we saw before we joined. Before we, we have to look out for our own interests too. So, very much, um. You and Saren have a history. About 20 years ago. Saren. But I saw how he operates. No He's conscience. a monster. No so I would, uh. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a He's war. He's a monster, a bro. Thought. That's a monster. Innocence doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. So Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's there twisted, was no broken. Good option, so he likes the violence, the killing. Sir, but then, you know, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Goodbye. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right, so we got more in the journal. Speed turn grid. Suppose here you have two boys here. That's at once. There's base agents have gone rogue. 
Investigates here and all right. Shadow Parker, head to the breaker for you. To we gotta do a lot, yo. Oh my god. Well, I guess this episode gotta be the. Episode. The Asari were the first, the second oh. species to join the Citadel. The Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians you look like think a frog. Fast, I'm sorry, fast, sis. You do look like a little fast. bit like a frog. To Salarians, <laughs> other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the Genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan Rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. Okay. That's it. That's it? Yeah, that was it. We gotta do a lot. What's in the map? We can't do a lot. We're just down here, so we gotta get back over there to get back to our destination. But yo, we have to do a lot. Let's just save. Hold up, let's just save. Oh my god, like. Wait, this will take us. Piers location, war, war location. Um, how did this stuff work? Hold up. You want to know? Let's do that because that's the elevator. I'm afraid these things might take us like to a different planet or something, and we don't got like time for that. I don't got time for that though. Oh. All right. Now my face is in the front. The council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word for ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. I agree you're actually here because what the why like, why? So
that Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? That's a problem. Be more open. Right. Are there That's laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. He tied to it. Um, I help. But if I you'd help. like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Area map. Assignment. So I guess that's a, like a side mission. I'm gonna do side missions yet. I I'm I'm just gonna. Let me find a teleporter or something like. Let me find. Let me see how good the fast travel system is. Actually, you want to know? Hold up. Let me do something. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Okay, we're going back here and checking that, um, that fast travel thing to see how good it is. Because first I didn't trust it, but then now I'm... <laughs> Now I'm going back to see what you can do because to be honest, um You wanna know wait 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 let me let me log back in let me do, let me, let me, let me go back to the start. Hold up. Alright. Let's see how good this is. Loading screen. Alright, so it's, it's saved. So, uh, yeah, let's go over here. Touches, dude. Good thing we already met him, so. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I need your help. For the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Can we make a deal? What's the cost? Start talking. Can we make a deal? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune, but these are exceptional circumstances, so I am going to give it to you for free. All right. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Okay. Serve him, right? He's not the only one. What's stuck? Saren's turned on a lot of people. I don't know. Right, the he details, killed like he killed like a shadow broker. Killed like somebody on our mission, like with it. a Krogan mercenary. Where is he? Anything That's not else? much to go on. 
I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Thanks for the info. You know. My pleasure, yeah. Commander. All right, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. This it. Okay, so first, hit the journal. Okay, go ahead and see the button for P2. Let's see. Okay. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They, the, the Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious Okay, we're learning about these things. Oh, Until shoot. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, that look eaten by predators was still the number one he cause might be of a Krogan tank fatalities. That might be a dog. Afterwards, thing. it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan oh, were a yeah, brutal, primitive a, species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally okay. uplifted them, Alien teaching them to use and build modern life. technology, so they could serve as soldiers houses, in the Rachni War. Do was alien. That could be the alien because he's their home world. Dude, quick breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds, even though these worlds were already inhabited. The Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century, only ending when the Turians unleashed the. Genophage, a Salarian developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable, and today the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians. All right. Okay, so, um, where are we going? Where are we put to go? So, all right. So we get so we get to go all the way right here. Oh my god, bro. Pay it back. Hold up. There's a run button. Oh, yeah, this is the run button. I'm like, bro. Where's the run button? Okay, so let's go. More location. Is. All right, I'm trying. I'm trying to see how good this fast travel system is. Save. Okay. Right. Let me see. Save.
Okay, okay, okay. Um Come on, we gotta go. Come on. Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Um, <laughs> we met before. No, but I know you well enough. I'm executive <laughs> of It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Oh. Okay. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Okay. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of right. the Counselor, so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you, you have against them? the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. Spectres are porn. You want to know? Let's move on. I don't got time to say that. Um, excuse. Me. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Then can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus for carrier? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs okay, Garrus. You think okay, an so officer of the law would be a bit All more right. mindful of rules and regulations? So you give me, like, was there give anything me that, else? Um, um, soldier, you know, soldier mess going on or something. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. We're not favorites. Uh, we're not favorites. Um, the council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? 
Well, uh, that other stuff. But... What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with Caesar. Yeah, right. They're over we do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Okay, if it gets the job done... Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. Maybe. But I've never had to cross that line to get the job done. Never. All right, goodbye. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Can we learn more about him? Let's get, let's get out of here. Wait, wait, so the... The, the, hold on. Let's go. Let me go this way. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be talked at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the call. Wait, what? She's. She's. You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. Shut up, Frederick. Oh, wait, Ramon. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Just saying hi. Enjoy yourself, Private. Commander? Okay, so, um... Man, where is he, like? Where, where is... Where is Gary, like? Where is he? You wanna know? Let's, let's go to this one.
We came to the wrong room. Hold up. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? I should go. I'll, leave. I'll be here if you need. No. I think I think I'm lost because I can't I can't find here it the word. Man What the frick is Gary at like So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe <sighs> banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. <laughs> Me just... Again, it's gonna put a little stretch. Okay, we can't believe it. This place, this place is like a mall half. This place is like a mall half. Like, oh my god, bro. This place could be a mall for real. Like, oh my god. Let's go. Oh. It's Rex, sir. Bro, I Witnesses promise you. I promise you. If a dude was an alien, this way he probably looked like. Like, yo. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn this. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. I think he had to be arbitrary, bro. Here. Like, yes, hello there. Schumann, you can't help me. We need to talk. Oh my god, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. Oh my sure god. Come and go, human. What's your What's your goal? I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What Tell did me. he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Why? Like, they miss it. Why? What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our uh -oh. hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Saren might already have her. Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. All right. The time Deal. we paid Fist a visit. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Alright. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so we can... Alright. Okay, so... so okay, okay, so we can add him to the team. Alright, so he's not part of our squad, for real. So... Okay, so we got Garrus. So we gotta get um different races. So we gotta get like the what's what's the blue aliens like name? The Turians? I probably messed up, but we probably gotta get them. We probably gotta get whoever um that alien race is like bro. Dude, dude, I'm just like <laughs> Hmm, who I will switch out on? Um. Okay, so, um... Combat strength. So yeah, so we got so yeah, so 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 wait, remove, remove from squad. That's one. Okay. All right. See. All right. See. See. This is this is squad. Every time I visit the Citadel. C-Sec brings me here for a friendly chat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, alright. So, I might need to stop here. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Mostly of this whole type thing, we've been walking around and stuff. Bro. Alright. Alright, but we will check that out later. Hold up. Overkill allows long best of the sense and ref or for fire without overheating. Whoa. Shield boost. Restore part of your seal ever while you are under fire. Ooh. 
Oh, bro, but we check this out later. This is insane. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we... Okay, so, so we gotta, we gotta stop here. We gotta have to stop here, guys. We gotta have to stop here. Okay, so next time we will go to the, um, medical edition to get Greg and stuff and other stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, alright, alright. Now we're getting the aliens in here and I love it probably because, oh my god. It's kind of really like, this game really bugs me up. Fire Emblems, Three Houses, where I do, like, we have a dude that is, like, buff, and maybe we will have, like, a kind character or something. So, yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna stop right here.